the question is x and y are partners sharing profits and losses equally their balance sheet as on 31st march 2017 is given below and the last sentence is you are required to prepare revaluation account partners capital accounts and bank account and the balance sheet of the new firm the format of a revaluation account is given with debit credit particulars rupee symbols of both the sides and to workman compensation liability 10000 is given this is read the question c part of the adjustment it was found that creditors included a sum of 7500 which are not to be paid but it that means decrease in liability by creditors this is a gain to the firm but it was also found that there is a liability for workmen compensation to workmen amounting to 10000 increase in liability loss to the firm to workmen compensation liability rupees 10000 and then d part provision for doubtful debt to be created at the rate of 10% on debtors debtors is having a value of rupees 72000 10% is 10 less 7200 and already liability provision for doubtful debt appearing in the books is rupees 5000 hence 7500 should be the liability now it is 5000 hence to 2500 will be increase in liability to provision for doubtful debts rupees 2500 Out of the seven thousand five hundred, five thousand provision for doubtful debts is gone. Hence, provision for doubtful debts will be rupees twenty five hundred. It should be seven thousand five hundred. Next one is by creditors. Already I have told you in the adjustment C, creditor was not to be paid. Decrease in liability. It is a gain by creditors. Credited to revaluation account by. Seven thousand five hundred. Then totaling of the debit side is rupees twelve thousand five hundred. Write down it in the credit side. There will be profit and it will be distributed in the ratio of by current accounts revaluation loss transport in old ratio of x is to y. That is one is to one. This will be transferred to current account and current account will be closed. That is the difference is. Five thousand for X it is half and for Y it is half. Rupees twenty five hundred each. Next one is partners capital accounts both debit and credit side. X Y Z with rupee symbols will be there. Then partners capital accounts first line is balance brought down. Rupees one lakh fifty thousand and rupees one lakh. it is very important that e part in regard to the partners capital accounts present fixed capital method is to be converted into fluctuating capital methods this will be fluctuating capital account this is fluctuating capital account that means the current account balances will be transferred to this account that is by current accounts rupees 40000 and 30000 Otherwise, you could have prepared a current account, and you could have transferred this revaluation loss to that, and all other treatments should have been done through revaluation account and through current account, and current account should be closed by transferring it to capital account. Or in the beginning, you can also transfer this current account balances to this. For this purpose, we should have written in the revaluation account as by capital accounts, not by current account. then next one is there is one important treatment f part bills of 20000 accepted from creditors who are not recorded in the books that means creditors will be reduced and bills receivable will be increased bills payable will be increased here there is a movement in the liability side hence one liability is increasing bills payable 
and the other liability is decreasing, creditors is decreasing, but there is no devaluation, profit or loss on these liabilities. Hence, this will be treated in the balance sheet. Next one is by bank account, a part of the adjustment. Z is to introduce rupees 1,25,000 as capital. Here there is bank in this uh, balance sheet and uh, you can write down by bank. You could have written by cash but if there is a bank in the balance sheet, it is better to follow by bank, write down by bank. Next one is two revaluation account, rupees 2,500 in excess column and in wise column it is rupees 2,500, revaluation loss. But uh, please write down in revaluation account by capital accounts, not current accounts. I have already explained you. Then total the credit side, take it to the debit side and find out balance carried down. The difference closing capital balances will be for X rupees 1,87,500, for Y rupees 1,27,500, for Z rupees 1,25,000. Now, Balance sheet as at 1st April 2017, it is a liabilities and rupee symbols with the assets and rupee symbol. Now, in the asset side, we have land and building rupees 150,000, we have plant and machinery rupees 1 lakh, write down same amount there. Furniture and fittings rupees 25,000, stock rupees 75,000, debtors rupees 75,000 and 10% of this will be the new provision. 10% of this means 10 less. less Provision for doubtful debts rupees 7500, new provision and final balance is rupees 67,500. Next one is bills receivable 30,000, same old balance. Then bank rupees 50,000 and the new partner is bringing in rupees 1,25,000. Then the totaling will be And the last part G, X provides 50,000 loan to the business carrying interest at 10%. That is bank account debited to excess loan account. There is no increase or revaluation of liabilities, new introduction of a fresh loan. That is already existing bank balance is 50,000 plus capital low rupees 1,25,000. That is 1,75,000 plus loan of X. To the farm, bank balance will be further increased by rupees 50,000. It will be 2,25,000. Then capital accounts, new capital balances. First one is X, rupees 1,87,500. Y, rupees 1,27,500. Z, rupees 1,25,000. The totaling will be rupees 4,40,000. Then creditors, it is rupees 1,30,000. Creditors rupees 1,30,000 is there in the balance sheet and 7,500 is reduced adjustment already you have read it C part it was found that creditors include a sum of rupees 75,000 which was not to be paid it is not to be paid 75,100 minus 20,000 very important adjustment bills of rupees 20,000 accepted from creditors were not recorded in the books this is creditors account debited to bills payable account hence 20,000 will be reduced from creditors and it will be added to bills payable bills payable is 50,000 rupees it is increased by 20,000 the journal entry is Creditors account debited to bills payable account, rupees 70,000. Then, in the liability side, if there is one more thing, it is called workman compensation liability, 10,000. We have already read, this is given to you in part C of the adjustment and now totaling 10% of excess loan is also there. Adjustment means G part, it will be added to bank balance by 50,000 and it will be shown in the liability side, excess loan account. If you are writing 10%, this is also nice. Then we have to total both the sides of the balance sheet, that is rupees 6,72,500. And this is the final answer.